each airport has characteristics that can lead pilots to make errors that sometimes result in wrong surface operations, runway incursions, or other surface events. This video will enhance your situational awareness during airport operations by increasing your awareness of these challenges. Let's take a look at issues you might encounter at Waukegan National Airport from the flight deck. Waukegan Tower Skyhawk 519 at Chromia holding short of 14 ready for takeoff. Waukegan National is a small to medium sized and primarily general and corporate aviation airport located just northwest of the city of Waukegan, Illinois. The runway configuration consists of two intersecting runways labeled 523 and 1432. The taxiway system includes full-length parallel taxiway south of runway 523 and on either side of runway 1432. The traffic mix consists of general and corporate aviation of all types, as well as a helicopter community that includes Coast Guard and itinerant military helos. Several flight schools are located on the airport, providing instruction from pre-solo through advanced ratings. Waukegan has Class Delta airspace. When arriving, pilots may be asked to report at one of several reporting points, some depicted on charts and some not. If you are unfamiliar or can't locate these points, just advise the tower and they will issue alternate instructions. Kenosha Regional Airport is located north of Waukegan National and has a similar layout. Pilots have sometimes confused the two. As with any airport with full-length parallel taxiways, there is a risk of runway taxiway misidentification. Since taxiway Bravo is longer and has a similar width as runway 32, pilots can get confused and line up with the wrong surface. One mitigation strategy might be to create a GPS user waypoint aligned with your assigned runway. If you are unsure of how to accomplish this, please refer to your navigator's user manual. Also, when doing pattern work on runway 23, right traffic is typically used due to noise abatement. Another nationally recognized risk factor are ramp areas that have direct access to runways. While not particularly an issue at Waukegan, the potential does exist at the following locations. Sierra 1 and 3, and Echo 3 along Taxiway Alpha. Extra attention is recommended when operating from these ramp areas. Of course, if you are ever in doubt of any control instruction or clearance, the easiest answer is to ask the tower. They are there to help. We hope this short video will help you prepare for your upcoming flight, and along with the air traffic control tower, keep your flight safe and efficient. Now you're better prepared for your trip to Waukegan National Airport. It's always better to know before you go.